and we've been able to talk through a lot and and so you know there is some good coming out of it. I saw all three of your children at the ranch I was going to say this yeah. summer yeah. and I'm telling you there was no holding back they were the leading mm. the charge in <laughs> in fun and making yeah. it a good time well, for others. Well, they have such great. a heart for camp ministry anyway <laughs> that was that was really a good and place I was going to say our two oldest also invested their own what little savings they, yeah. they had because they they thought yeah. you know this is uh, is a yeah. good thing and it money should grow and and so they um, along with us and unfortunately yeah. so many others that that uh, just yeah. felt and the the thing that uh, you know that that hurts me even grieves me even further is that um, because we were a part of it that others would have come along and said well. Yeah. If Ron and Ann yeah. think it's okay, but it must be. They're good friends with them, so it must and, be and legitimate. So, so that compounds the, the issue because it, it just yeah. you know makes things so much worse for, for us. We have a formidable foe. You know, my husband, you know what my husband has always said. Uh, Ron Maines is a man in whom there is no guile. It, renowned for your integrity and trustworthiness. And the enemy has sought to attack right at that point. Mm. But, but we know that God will have the last word. Mm -hmm. How are Reynolds and Kathy doing? Well, they are very much in the si similar boat mm -hmm. as far as being uh, sucked in, so to speak, as, yeah. as we were into this. And, um, and so they're, they're doing well. They're, they're walking mm -hmm. a journey as well on their yeah. own. They, they um, are not uh, employees of, of the Ministry of, of Crossroads for the last year and a half or so. They've mm -hmm. uh, had the their ministry, which is focusing on uh, some other areas, the Heaven's Rehearsal being a main one, yes. and they have our, their own board of directors as well to be accountable to. And, um, but we need to pray for them also. Mm -hmm. And this has served to draw them closer as a family mm -hmm. as well. They have a really good, strong base there. And, and so God is doing things in their, their lives as well. So we continue mm -hmm. to pray with and for them. Good. And we as well. And, and you've come loaded. I said to you, uh, write everything down. <laughs> Journal everything, every encouragement, every yes. word from God. Isaiah 45 verse 3 talks mm -hmm. about the treasures, the treasures of darkness. It's God's mm -hmm. promise. Yes. I will give you the treasures of darkness, yeah. riches stored in secret places so that you may know that I'm the Lord, the God of Israel, mm -hmm. who calls you by name. Mm -hmm. That personal encouragement. I, I'm curious to know what's been the hardest thing and what's been the most encouraging for you in this place of devastation? Well, well sleeping was a little hard at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, we, um, <laughs> yeah. for the first, I don't know, three or four weeks there, um, we lost a lot of weight, <laughs> which isn't always a bad thing. Um, eating was difficult, sleeping was almost impossible. Um, in fact, early on, probably the second week in June, we were back home here and um, just trying to process everything. And Ron was about to turn off the lamp for another sleepless night. We knew we weren't going to get any or if much sleep. And he just turned to me and he said, this is ridiculous. He looked at me and he said, okay, is God in control? Because at that point, Maury, it felt like everybody was in control but us. I mean, we were completely out of control. He said, is God in control? And I said, yes. And he said, then we will sleep well tonight. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We did sleep well that night. And we have said that to each other every night since then. <laughs> since the middle of June, before we turn off the lamp, we look at each other. One of us will say, is God in control? <laughs> Say yes, then we will yeah. sleep well tonight. So you either b believe it or you don't, That's right. and and it's something that that we've always kind of known. We had you know faith in God. We we knew it in our heart that He He was in control. But when when it comes to to something that really hits you hard personally, and you're you're going through all these feelings and. It, uh, it drives it a lot deeper, that truth. And we just had to come to the point of saying, yeah. you know what, let's just hang on to that every day because it is truth. Yeah. When there's nothing else you can stand on, you stand on His truth. And you know, that's for a firm mm -hmm. foundation. And mm -hmm. so yes, He is in control. And so why, why go through all the worry? Why go through all the, the pain of, of staying up and wondering what you should have done? And it's important that every day you have to yeah. acknowledge to yourself that God, you are in control. He already knows it. But it's we, we need to remind ourselves that God is in control, He is trustworthy, He will see us through. Mm -hmm. As we walk in obedience, as we do the things that we know He is calling us to do. Some days, all He's calling you to do 
is just sit quietly with him. There's nothing else you can do. But oh, Moira, it's in those times that those treasures are so precious because to have just such an overwhelming sense of the presence of God in the midst of, of what is so much pain and processing, working through so many questions. I mean, we still don't have answers to a lot of the questions that we had five months ago. You know, but we do know that God is in control, that none of this has taken him by surprise. You know, uh, the verse in Romans, that God works all things together for the good of those who, are, who love him and who are called according to his purposes. That's one of many scriptures that God has just... I think Ron to. alluded to that yesterday, and I thought of the old yeah. hymn, Standing on the Promises of God. It sounds a little corny to some of us maybe today, but when you're going through oh. the crucible... Mm -hmm. What do you do? Well, God, you stand on the promises God's of God. God's word has been so precious, as I said yesterday, and just yeah. day after day, you, you continue in it and it gives you the strength and the hope. The, uh, Philippians 4, 6 and 7 come to mind. Be anxious yeah. for nothing. We were anxious for everything in that. Yeah. He said, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to God. Let your requests be made known to him. And the peace of God, the promise comes in, the peace mm -hmm. that passes understanding uh, will fill your hearts and minds. And you through guarded Christ Jesus. that heart mm -hmm. in another very practical way that I know about. I'm not asking for specifics and tell us what you covenanted together. Well, mm -hmm. er, you know, er, early in the journey, uh, we made a covenant as a couple that we would not speak negatively of anyone uh, that is a part of our journey that we needed to just just keep our minds and our thoughts and our words pure before God and before others and not not fuel any fires and good way to put it yeah. and the result is that his strength and grace you know and you could have chosen to just retreat when the sky fell you didn't have to come in and continue to do full circle when things were still exploding all over the place but you came you saw and you conquered <laughs> in the grace of God you know what? every Friday. It was, it was not a difficult thing to do. I wish I could say I'm some big hero that I trudged right through. But I knew that my heart was to be here, to be with you and the girls on the couch, to minister to those women who are watching that need to know that no matter what you're going through, God is there. He is faithful. He is always there to give you what you need. And so it wasn't hard for me to come in and, and continue to do that. One of the many things lost in this journey, your 25th wedding anniversary, just kind of got trampled in, in the midst of everything. I know our plans had to go to the wings and uh, yeah, and, that's another tough thing. It, it, it was, but you know, a lot of people went through tough things regarding this. People yeah. who had invested a lot uh, yeah. of their hard-earned money and yeah. savings. And so uh, we want to be very sensitive to, yeah. to them. We, we, we grieve about, about that part of it. We've done what we can, because there's a lot of issues along the way, you know, financial, legal issues mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. And um, we were, you know, we of course had, may have made full restitution for mm -hmm. anything that we had received mm -hmm. in addition to, to having lost what we invested and what our yeah. children invested. And we had to, you know, max out the mortgage to the house yeah. and, and uh, you know, cash in RRSPs or whatever just to, to, to get all caught up. You know, it's, it's important that I say this and it, I mean, we've never had a lot of money. I mean, that's not been our experience mm -hmm. at all. Um, so when we thought we did have money through this investment, uh, we had so much fun just, just blessing, just you know, doing things that you always wish you could do if you had the money. Mm -hmm. You see a need and you don't even think twice. You just bless, you pour into, you, you, you let go of. And, and so, you know, because of that and, and other things, it, it, it is a little difficult. But, but what we've received through, through the reassurance of God's Holy Spirit that, you know what, don't worry, hold loosely mm -hmm. to stuff like that. And that's, yeah. that's what we've been doing. And God has, has replenished into us in so many different ways that we, we can't complain. Mm -hmm. Well, it is thrilling to see. I just received in the mail yesterday my Dare to Love reminder that we have two amazing weeks coming up. Uh, starting next week, October 19th to 30th, uh, our Dare to Love Days, our membership drive. And the, the sweet thing is, we are going to hear some nuggets from you uh, that are part of this whole journey. You've done the Love Dare Challenge yeah. together. 
and I'm sure it's yeah. been been fun, especially for a time like this mm -hmm. when all these pressures have been around. Well, going through what we've been through the last few months really has brought us closer together as a couple. So it's been fun going doing the Love Dare Challenge in the book, The Love Dare, um, and kind of remembering a lot of the struggles that you have through the many years of marriage. And so, it, yeah, we... We reflect on a few of those uh, in yeah. the segments so that we've taped that'll air over the next couple yeah, of weeks starting was, on Monday. It was a lot of fun. Wonderful. Yeah. We will yeah. look forward to that and many more things uh, coming to us through the journey you've taken. Mm -hmm. Oh, I w Let us be praying for Ron and Ann, for Reynold and Kathy, for all those who've been compromised through these kinds of, of schemes and for any who are feeling devastated today. I hope you're encouraged that you're beginning to see that what the enemy intended for evil God can bring good from and through.